Hi guys, welcome back. So, second video of the day. I'm on a roll. Ow. <laughs> Try to be productive today. Anywho, so today I'm going to be showing you guys all of my monthly beauty buys for the month of August. It's September already, you guys. Can you believe that? It's September already. So, yes, these are the products that I purchased in August that some of them I have already used and the rest of them I plan on using this month in September. So, that's kind of how I do my monthly beauty haul or monthly beauty buys. Instead of doing multiple hauls throughout the month, which I'm supposed to be on the no buy, so... It's turned into a low buy though. <laughs> a very low buy, okay? Very so I'm not buy. supposed to have a haul at all this month, but it's just a little haul, you guys. Just just a little haul, okay? So anyway, that's how I do my monthly haul videos now. So these are just all the products I bought in August that I want to share with you guys and just kind of let you know what I plan on using, reviewing, talking about in September. A lot of times I don't get to all of the products, but Hopefully I can get to most of them. So anywho, first item, I want to start off with some e.l.f. products that I purchased recently during their sale. I only got a couple of items, not too many of you guys. Some of you guys already know that I purchased this e.l.f. Beauty Shield Magnetic Mask. It's very hard to get the camera to pick that up. But it is a magnetic face mask that you actually put it on. Um, the actual mask itself is whatever is in there the metallic properties or magnetic properties that are in here that help to pull the impurities out of your face you use this handy little tool here to take the mask off you don't wipe it off wash it off or rub it off you use the tool to take it off so i do have a video on this you guys know i've already used it i'm using it a few more times i'm actually going to use this up so i can give an update on my thoughts on this but that is one of the items that i purchased from elf and it's not too expensive. It was only like $24.99 and I was blessed enough to get it on a half price sale. So I got a really good deal on that. Now the other e.l.f. product that I bought last month was this e.l.f. Bounce Back Jelly Cleanser. And it's like a hydrating jelly cleanser. It's in their usual e.l.f. packaging. So very nice and sleek tube. But this one is infused with hydrating coconut. So I love the smell of coconut. I have their coconut mist um, hydrating spray. And I love it. So I felt like I would probably love using this. Because I do love a good kind of daily facial cleanser. I like to try different ones out. So the next skincare item I got that's all I got from elf this item here this power 10 formula VC effector brightening it's from this brand called its skin I guess but this is what the packaging looks like and I had never heard of this product before I actually got a small sample of this when I went to BeautyCon from Joa, J-O-A-H, I believe, they had a tiny little sample of some different kind of Korean skincare items in my bag. And one of the ones that I pulled out and just decided to put on my face, and I couldn't even read it, you guys. So, you know, the writing, it wasn't in English. I didn't know what it was, but I said, I'm going to slap it on my face and see what happens. I put that stuff on my face and it just instantly brightened my skin. My skin had never felt that bright or just hydrated and I felt like, I was like, okay, hello, hey. I felt really, really cute when I put it on. So, of course, I went online to find it and I saw it at some different retailers. Some was like $19.99, some was $17.99. I found it on Amazon for $9.99. So, you know, your girl scooped it up, okay. But it's really infused, I think, with a lot of vitamin C, like a lot of vitamin C. And that's what really just instantly brightens your skin and makes you kind of feel and look like somebody just slapped you awake <laughs> so I love this stuff it's VC effector brightening 10 um, from this company called it's scan I believe so anywho got that okay now I want to talk about some of you know let's just talk about the foundations and primers that I got I only purchased two new foundations 
to test out this month. This one is the Maybelline Superstay Multi-Use Foundation Stick. So this is a foundation stick from Maybelline and it has the little applicator on the tip and then it has the foundation, the foundation stick on one side. So I do have a video for this reviewing this foundation stick not sure if it's going to be up before this video or not but i did go ahead and review that and i also purchased the nyx new can't stop won't stop foundation that Alyssa ashley helped them you know to curate the new shades and everything so i did want to try this out because i love me a good matte foundation and i've been dying to try this out for 14.99 at ulta so i finally picked it up and I have the color Mocha. And I've been seeing a lot of mixed reviews on this and hearing a lot of mixed thoughts on this. So I wanted to go ahead and try it out for myself. And I like it. <laughs> I'll just say that. I did use this in a video as well. It wasn't a just specific review of this foundation only. It is in like a chit chat get ready with me. So it's not a full review of the foundation, but I like this foundation. Okay. Now, I also picked up this Too Faced Prime and Peachy Cooling Matte Perfecting Primer. I've never tried a primer from Too Faced before, so when I was in Sephora kind of perusing during the VIB and Rouge sale and everything, I went ahead and picked this up since I could get a little discount on it. I haven't used it yet. Um, I'm kind of curious about it because I do see a lot of people using it and saying that they really like it. So yeah i want to check it out oh that's cute and has like a little pump on there and everything so that's cute Ooh, it smells good it does smell like peaches so and it is a peachy color too so i don't mind that because with me having the discoloration on my face and stuff like orange and peachy stuff i really don't mind it it's nice and smooth and it smells good so we'll see how that works as a primer for me okay now let me go ahead and just show you some of the lesser expensive palettes that i purchased last month um let me just start off with a couple of these rimmel london palettes actually this palette i didn't purchase i don't think this palette i got from beautycon i'm pretty sure this is the free palette that i got when i went to the rimmel booth and this one is the spice so yeah, edition. I probably already showed this palette in my beauty con stuff and so it shouldn't even be in my little box here but I think I was keeping it together with this one because I actually did buy this last month. I bought it from Walmart and it's the Magnifies Jewel Rocks edition from Rimmel and so this is what this one looks like. So it has some of the more brighter and bolder shades, but it's not too wild and crazy. It's not a rainbow palette or anything, but there are some shades in here that you can kind of be a little bit bolder with. So I did get that. Also from Walmart, I got this Hard Candy palette. And this one is Hard Candy Look Pro Eyeshadow Pro palette. And I thought it was really, really pretty. It comes with these two brushes in here, like, you know, their palettes come but it's just kind of like the shades are just really really pretty to me and there's some nice shimmers and stuff in there a nice gold and looks like a pretty pretty brick red and a black and they do have this cute little mirror up here at first when I saw the palette I was irritated because I was like what is this I was like that's not cute I don't like that <laughs> I was like I don't like that but then when I opened it up and actually saw why they have that there, which is so you can have a, a little mirror to use. I was like, okay, fine, whatever. So that is that. And I believe I paid like $10 for that. So next, I think that's all of the palettes. Oh, no, no. I have one more heart. I really was. I really am on a low buy, you guys. It really is a low buy. This is the other hard candy palette I bought. It's the Galactic Eyes. And these palettes aren't new at all. I've seen people on the YT with them for years now. <laughs> I don't know about years, but I've seen them quite a bit. And this is just kind of like a multicolored shimmer type palette from hard candy. So it is very, very cute, very pretty. But I wanted to try this out just to kind of 
use them as toppers or try them out as toppers. So we'll see how that works out. And I've never tried a hard candy palette before, so I'm kind of curious on the quality. Okay, so now moving on to Shop Hush. Of course, the Shop Hush. Y'all know how I do. <laughs> so for Shop Hush, I bought this Disco Fever palette. Very cute. Look at that. And on the box, it's like raised. This lettering is raised, so you can actually feel it. So cute. It's by Face Candy. It's a 16 color eyeshadow collection. And it has the names on the back here. It is cruelty free and there is a very nice large mirror in this palette and this is what this palette looks like so these are the colors in this palette the disco fever very pretty i'm really drawn to that green and that gold and that fuchsia of course all the other shades i pretty much probably have in 50 other palettes but i wanted this one so there you have it and I can't remember if I paid $12 or $16 for that one, but it wasn't too expensive on the Shoplunch website. Also, I got this Vice palette from Face Candy. I've been looking at this palette for the longest time, you guys. I've been looking at this palette for months and months and months. I had it in my cart, took it out my cart, had it in my cart, took it out my cart, had it in my cart, took it out my cart. I <laughs> said, so, you know what, girl, just buy the doggone palette. So this is a Vice 8 color eyeshadow palette from Face Candy and yes it is cruelty free and their palettes have a nice little weight to them. Very nice quality inexpensive palettes from Face Candy okay. It has a nice mirror in here of course but these are the shades in this palette. So as you can see it's definitely a cool tone purple themed palette but I don't know you guys I just had to have it I just had to have it <laughs> so expect a review on this palette coming soon whenever I feel like just doing a purple look because it's definitely a purple themed palette so that's that okay that's all that I got from Shop Hush now you guys if you are a regular watcher of my channel you know I picked up this Maelstrom palette from Delancey I've already done a video reviewing this palette, so I will link it in the cards above. But this was one of the items that I purchased this month. This palette is gorgeous. Nice mirror, as you can see in there. And this is what this palette looks like. If you haven't already seen it, go ahead and get your drool on <laughs> because this palette is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I love it. I love the look that I was able to come up with this. It kind of had a vampy feel to it. My husband said I reminded him of Elvira that day. So if you like Elvira there, <laughs> you can get this palette. You can look just like her. And this palette, let me see. Yeah, for the Shop Hush palettes, they were anywhere from 12 to 16 bucks. This palette actually, how much did I pay for this palette? 17, I paid 17 bucks for this palette on Amazon this Delancey palette so that wasn't too too pricey and it's a decent sized palette as you can see it's pretty big next um I don't know if you would consider this an inexpensive palette or an inexpensive brand but I guess so in some senses but anyways I purchased this palette from NYX and when I got it in the mail I don't know I guess I never ordered anything online from NYX before I don't know if they do this all the time but it came in this little kind of seductive boudoir lacy type bag okay I, I never seen anything like this before but I was like okay <laughs> so anyway yeah it came in this nice little sexy bag I was like oh I could put some some undies or something in there anyway I thought it was cute and I got these cute little stickers from NYX. I know I've gotten stickers from them before in the store. So anyways, I got these cute little stickers to stick on my travel makeup caboodle or whatever. But I went ahead and got this Swear By It palette. Now I went back and forth as far as whether or not I was going to get this palette because I have some NYX eyeshadow palettes that I love. Like the, the lingerie, the little lingerie palette 
that one in the little glitter palette I love the formula of that eyeshadow but then I also have one of their the larger like 16 or 12 pan colorful palette and I don't like it that much so I kind of went back and forth as far as whether or not I wanted to get this palette from them but anywho of course I went ahead and picked it up this is what it looks like so you guys can see the palette up close just in case you're curious about it as well I mean the colors are gorgeous you know it's a very nice wide range of colors in here it looks really cool you know blues greens reds yellows golds. I like the fact that there's so many golds and kind of mustardy shades in here because it'll give me a lot to work with for the fall you know trying out different fall looks so I really like that there's not just one mustard shade you know I'm glad that there are multiple shades in here so definitely look for a review on this palette because I am super curious about it okay next for inexpensive palettes I got a couple of things from ColourPop now if you watch my channel you already know that I did pick up some of the Jelly Much shadows from ColourPop I didn't get the whole collection I only got four of them because I knew I didn't need the whole collection I mean I'm probably barely going to use the four that I got but these are the four colors that I got when I purchased them I paid eight dollars each for these they were on sale for six dollars I don't know if they're still available at that price but these are just the cute little jelly much shadows you know when you order them they come in these cute little individual boxes they come in this cute little color pop packaging here where you can see what color it is on the bottom you know you can just check out my video I won't go through a whole spiel on it because I did do a whole video on these jelly much shadows so check the i card I think it's over here yeah check the i card above <laughs> for that video and the other thing that I picked up from ColourPop is something else that I had in my cart took it out had it in my cart took it out had it in my cart took it out <laughs> And I was like, girl, if you don't just buy that palette and knock it off. So anyway, it's the Mar palette, okay? Which I know some of you guys are probably surprised that I didn't buy it when it first came out. But look, I don't buy everything when it first comes out, okay? I don't buy everything when it first comes out. I kind of wait, feel around, see if I really want it. So that's what I did with the Mar palette. <laughs> So I finally decided that yes I want this palette now the soul palette I could do without I, I didn't need a whole palette full of orangey goldy shades so this palette of course I felt like I could work with you know it has this gorgeous mirror up here but this palette as you can see you know it has your blues your turquoise it also has you know a nice transition shades a deep brown for your crease and you know I just felt like I could do more with this palette than the soul palette so I didn't need to get the whole little cute little set or whatever this one and I like the ref reflective packaging too it's really cute but this one I was like I want it so I finally picked it up and I think I got it on sale too okay so anyway, and ColourPop is good for that. Coming out with stuff and especially palettes. Come out with new palettes and then two weeks later it's on sale. So with ColourPop palettes, sometimes it pays to wait. Now, I purchased a couple of palettes because I saw Rich Lux of all people. Love him so much. <laughs> I saw him just briefly hold them up in one of his videos and mention them never heard of this brand before never saw those palettes and I was like what are those so anywho it's this company called trading Mecca trading Mecca and the packaging on these palettes is like so so cute and it doesn't look like much on the camera I don't know if I can get it to, to actually show but you see how it's like a silver glitter packaging that's like really really shimmery glittery type packaging and the camera really doesn't do it justice but they came out with these two palettes the Malibu and the Camden Town and let me just show you the Malibu palette if I can get it out of this sleeve okay so for the Malibu palette 
their palettes have a mirror in them also as you can see but this is what the shades look like in the Malibu palette so very pretty very very pretty and so I saw him hold these up and I was just like okay let me go check those out um and they were $15 each and I actually ordered them like before they were even shipping them out so I actually pre-ordered mine so this is what the Camden Town palette looks like you see that gorgeous blue crystal up in the top and that beautiful purple in the center and this orange and green all of these shadows are just gorgeous so yeah anyways trading mecca website these palettes are gorgeous and like i said i'm not that familiar with this brand i only heard about them from rich lux okay yeah and okay so it looks like they must have shadows that you can kind of interchange because i just popped this one out just to see if it was magnetic and that's you know usually with the little divot you can tell that you can pop them out so yeah definitely very very cool so anyway i got these two palettes from trading mecca and also what was really really cool when i got my package from trading mecca they actually send you a little personalized a little personalized um card do you see that thank you for trusting us and supporting us to make a difference feel free to share on social your social your looks on social media blah 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 anyway but that was so cute i thought wow that is really really cool and i believe that they do okay so yes they are vegan and cruelty free trading mecca and not only that they do also donate to chalk children's hospital and they also donate to diabetes research and prevention yeah diabetes research and prevention so if you're looking for a brand that actually supports some great causes is vegan and cruelty free then check out trading mecca okay so next i want to just show you guys some of the i guess higher end or more expensive eyeshadows that i have picked up last month Two of these are actually MAC eyeshadows. I've never purchased any MAC eyeshadows. So when I was in the MAC store, actually in the airport, <laughs> when I was going to my connecting flight, I think it was, was it the Dallas airport? Anyways, you know, one of those huge airports in Texas. I think it might've been the Dallas Fort Worth airport, but anyway there's a Mac store in one of those <laughs> one of those airports and so I came across it and I purchased two of their single eyeshadows these are dazzle shadows and let's see here which colors did I get I got midnight shine which is this one midnight shine so I don't know if you can see but that is gorgeous and then I also got I like to watch so this is what I like to watch looks like. It's kind of like a gold, a gold shimmer shadow. So very, very pretty. I can't wait to try these out. I guess I'm just going to use them, you know, as a glitter topper or something. But so I got those, those two mugs were cheap. I don't remember how much they were, but they wasn't cheap. Okay. okay, so next, thanks to my girl keeping it simple with Bridget, okay. She's like, ooh, girl, did you know Color Rain is having a sale? Did you know they're having a sale? And of course, I was like, no, girl, I know they're having a sale. I'm on a no-buy. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, of course, me and my little clickety click fingers I'm already on my way to the color rain website just to look just to check it out but I end up purchasing two palettes horrible but they did have a good sale though I don't know if it's still on sale but they was having a good sale so I got the cheers to the beauty palette look how big this palette is you guys and this packaging is like bomb so that's the sleeve and there's nothing on the back and this is the actual palette gorgeous absolutely gorgeous 
and this one has all the information here on the back as you can see anywho this is what this palette looks like you guys okay absolutely gorgeous so so pretty so so pretty so so i don't know if color rain is still having their sale going on right now but if they are you might want to check it out if you like this palette i got a really really good deal on it at half price and the other color rain palette that i picked up is the queen of hearts palette and this palette i've actually been wanting for a long time but color rain is a little bit more pricey than i like to spend <laughs> on eyeshadows i don't know i don't know it's like sometimes it just you know what it depends on how i feel because sometimes i don't care and if i really want something i'm going to to buy it spend the money on it but other times i'm just like mm, that's too much that too much <laughs> so anyway this is the palette very sleek and clean and this is the back of it as you can see very sleek and clean palette but these shadows are gorgeous there's a mirror in here of course and these are the shadows in the queen of hearts palette so as you can see these shadows are gorgeous absolutely gorgeous hopefully the camera is picking up the colors and doing it justice because this palette is super duper pretty okay and so that is that those are the two palettes i picked up from colored rain i actually wanted that colorful mix of you know individual shadows that they had on sale but it was sold out okay you guys don't judge me don't judge me don't judge me if you don't want to see this then just look away but don't judge me okay yes <laughs> yes i you know what i don't even know why i honestly don't even know why anyway i got the norvina your girl got the norvina i it's like i'm not even moved i'm really not i'm not even moved to use this palette you guys i'm not i'm not I have no desire to use it, not move to use it, don't really even care to use it, but I got it, okay? Let's not discuss it, let's not talk about it, let's not even bring it up again, let's just ignore it. So anyway, I got the Norvina. So you guys, that is it <laughs> for my August beauty buys, August beauty haul, stuff that I didn't need to buy, but I bought it anyway because I'm a makeup lover, a makeup junkie, and a makeup addict, all rolled up into one. This is my August haul. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me go through my items, and hopefully you're excited to see me try some of these items out if you're curious about them. Go ahead, leave a comment below and say, hey, try this out first, try this out first, try this out, because I will. Y'all know I love you and I will. So just let me know what y'all want to see and I will try it out, okay? Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!